What is up everybody? I am here trying to teach you on how to make a Minecraft server with a VPS. Now a VPS is a virtual server and I'm not going to teach you how to buy one. Um, but once you have one uh, and you're on Windows, by the way this is only for Windows just so you know, um, you want to download Putty. Now once you download, I, I, sorry, I recommend you download the zip but you can just install this one right here if you want. Sorry if you hear that. Alright, I'm just going to turn off my speakers instead. Anyways, uh, now what you want to do is um, open up Putty. Then, uh, I already have this uh, in, but you'll once you buy it, you're just going to get a uh, IP. So, my IP would, uh, is like 7, like 17. Uh, like just, it's not going to be the exact same for you. But anyways, that's for me. Except, I already have a specific thing where it allows me to automatically log in um but you won't be able to so now what you want to do once you're logged in uh create a folder which you do by mkdir now once you're once you do that um I, you can organize however you want but i have mine in a very like in many folders so i believe mine is here by the way this is how you uh, do multiple commands um Minecraft and CD uh, vanilla 1.11. That's where. Oh wait, no, never mind. Um, now I want to. Yeah, I just want to go there. Ah, servers. Sorry, <laughs> I make mistakes sometimes. Now I'm in Minecraft. Now I want to make a new one because I already have a server. Make dir um to. By the way, guys, this is all case sensitive. Tutorial. Tutorial. There we go. Now, um, I want to go CD. Tutorial. Um, for the record, CD just means go into that folder. Uh, LS. LA will just display everything that's in it, and if you just do LS, it will display everything. Um, but LA will show all the hidden files. Uh, by the way, when you first start, you'll start in your home. You can always just go to CD uh, and then root, but I'm not going to enter that in because that's just going to bring me back out. Now, what you want to do is type in sudo uh, yum install uh, um, wget. Now I'm going to type in my password, uh, but I have it copied for me. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so that's that. Um, and now uh, I just like typed in my thing. Uh, anyways, I already have it installed, but now again, uh, because you already installed it, you, can, um, it, you don't have to retype in your password. Um, uh, you, you want to do sudo yum install java, and then again, there's nothing to do, and then again, sudo yum install, uh, nano, and then again, I already have that. Now, once this is all done, what I want you guys to do is go to the Minecraft page, uh, and then go to, uh, the, the server area, so you just want to go to download. Uh, set up your own server, and what you want to do is right click, make sure you right click, and then copy link address. Now what you want to go uh, do is go back into putty, you want to type in wget, and then right click to paste, and then press enter. Now I have it in, now uh, if you do ls, there it is, right there, in the red. Uh, I want to change the name, so I'm going to do mv, Minecraft underscore server dot one dot eleven dot jar. Then I want to name it server dot jar just to uh, make it simple. And now if I do ls again, now it's named server dot jar. What you now want to do is type in this same thing. Now you want to type in this. Uh, it's just you can copy it from the page. Uh, now. You have to replace the area in front of server.jar, and 
there you go. Uh, that's the command that you have to type in to start up your server. Uh, and you want to just press enter. Now you should get a few command or little lines and then stopping server. Now you want to do uh, nano eula. Uh, eula dot text. Enter. Now here you go. Now just use the arrow, case, uh, arrow keys to navigate. And then you just delete uh, from false to true. And then do control X, then Y, then enter. Now you've uh, re-entered that. Now you just press the arrow key up twice and then press enter again. Now it will restart the server uh, again with the EULA uh, saying it's okay. You can run and now it's going to generate your server. Now the commands that you type in will actually apply to the server, not well, I guess the Minecraft server, uh, rather than your VPS server. By the way, if you hear that squeaking, I'm sorry. But anyways, um, so yeah. Um, now let's just wait for this to end. Uh, now you can just type in stop, and then you can type in uh, ls, la, if you want. You can type in la. You don't have to. And now here are all of your... Um, things. Now if you want you can go nano server dot properties. Um then here you are in the properties. Uh for the record guys, uh you do not have to edit the server IP. It will automatically function and you you don't have to edit the server port either. Now I just want to edit one thing and that is uh to allow command blocks. I can actually find that. <laughs> Sometimes, oh, here we go. Uh, and hit true. And again, control X, Y, and then enter. Now, I'm going to restart my server again. And now what you want to do is just open Minecraft while it's running. Or, you know, whatever. You can also look up on the internet how to let it run over uh, while your computer's off. Um... Uh, and I haven't figured that out yet, um, but I am searching that right after this video, actually. Um, but then you go to multiplayer, and then you want to add a server, and then add the same IP that you added in to log in into this whole thing right here. Uh, well, actually, to log in uh, here. The same IP that you entered in there. For me, it's 70, 75, 163, dot 31. Okay, now, uh, there you go, just at the bottom. It's the same server as my server up there, but anyways, just to show you that's how you do it. <coughs> now, um, it, I, it says I've joined the game. For the record, guys, when you start the server, uh, you can change this area to whatever you want. I'm just doing a tutorial and I'm just trying not to make it complicated. So yeah, here you go. Here I am uh, here I am playing on my Minecraft server uh that I just made for my VPS. Uh for some reason my thing is lagging a lot. Uh well not a lot, but it's just looking very, very choppy. Um and um it just looks like I'm not getting that high of FPS. Even though I just raised my FPS by a lot just a few days ago. Uh also just a little thing I want to show you, you can just do op the, well, whatever your name is, but my name is the Python Gamer, and then there you go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Game mode C, and there you go. There you have it, guys. Uh, now, it's pretty easy just to add mods kind of stuff, like you just add, um, you, if you've watched my previous videos on how to make a server, uh, or how to make a modded server, just do the same exact thing, except without uh, when you're installing things, or, like, you can't transfer files, so you have to install it directly, so, like, uh, when you get the link to install something, you have to copy the link, and then, th and then you have the mods. So, it it's a little bit more complicated, uh, but it's definitely worth the time, guys. So, anyways, I'm gonna stop this server, and I'm gonna exit my, uh, putty, and there you have it, guys. 
That is how you make a VPS server. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment if you couldn't figure something out. Leave a like if you uh, if you correctly did this and you liked my video on how to do this. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and I'll see you next time.